you know, I don't really get to say this often, but we got a huge update in Save the World today. So for today's video, we're going to take a look at the new home base status report. Like always, I will leave a link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. All right. So the first thing they said was as the Hexylvania adventure season continues, a new hero and weapon set make their debut and save the world. Also, wildlife has become rideable. So jump on a boar or a wolf and swiftly ride into the night as you battle Husk in Hexylvania. As a reminder, this venture season will end on November 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern, so be sure to collect all the rewards, including Brainstorm, before then. And that quest line is already available. It came with today's update. So there's a total of two pages and eight quests total. And it looks like you get the Alien Pulse Rifle after the third quest, and you get the Alien SMG after the sixth quest, and you'll get the new hero after you complete the entire quest line. Uh, the new hero is already in the collection book. His standard perk is called Brain Freeze, and that makes it to where when a decoy is destroyed, it explodes in a frigid blast that freezes all enemies in a one tile radius for three seconds. Uh, when you use him as your commander, his decoy will do the same thing. But additionally, anytime a frozen enemy is eliminated, there is a 70% chance to summon a Phantasm, which targets nearby enemies and deals 62 base energy damage in a half tile radius. And that has a one and a half second cooldown. So whenever your decoy is destroyed, it'll freeze all enemies within one tile for three seconds. And that includes Miss Monsters. And whenever you kill one of those frozen enemies, you'll have a 70% chance to summon a Phantasm. For his abilities, he has Decoy, Plasma Pulse, and Rosie. Obviously, we'll try to review him and get that up as quickly as possible. But those are the new hero's perks. And if we go to the Fort Nightmare section in the collection book, you can also see the new weapons. Now, two of these you'll be able to get from the new Brainstorm quest line. Uh, here's the Pulse Pounder. You'll get this one after the third quest in the new quest line. Uh, the description that came with it said, fully automatic when hip fired, slower shots when aimed down sights. You'll get the Shooting Star SMG after you complete the sixth quest. The description that came with Shooting Star says, this alien weapon emits a star-fueled laser blast. Thing I want to point out about the quest line is that they are epic variations of the weapon. So if you want to make them legendary, you will have to use legendary flux. But yeah, just wanted to point that out as well. Now as for these other two weapons, you're going to be able to get them from the event store. The Plasmatic Discharger is going to be available on November 6th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern. And the description that came with this says, launch a slow moving energy ball that zaps nearby objects and destroys any buildings in its path. And we have seen this in BR as well. And again, that's going to be available on November 6th in the event store. And you'll also be able to get the third rail from the event store. But this one's going to be available on November 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern. So we'll get this one two weeks from now. Here's what it looks like up close. The description that came with it says high tech rifle, charge it up to aim and fire a single powerful shot. Great for dealing with enemies behind walls. So you should be able to shoot through walls with this new third rail sniper rifle. One important thing I should mention is that I believe you can get at least two of the invasion weapons from vending machines and ventures. I heard that you can get the rail gun as well as the SMG, and you may also be able to get the other two as well. I'm not sure yet, but if you'd like to try them out early, then you should be able to get some from the vending machine. Apparently it was leaked that there is a chance we could get the recon scanner as well. I'm not sure how that's going to work and save the world, but there is a possibility that we could get this alien weapon also. A couple things I should point out with these weapons, you can't research them from the collection book. As of right now, they aren't a part of any llama set, so you're not going to be able to get them from llamas either. Uh, they could add them to llamas in the future. So as of right now, the only way you can get them is either from the quest line or by buying them from the event store. So that's how you get the new hero and the four new weapons. And what I think we'll do is we'll go ahead and stream this new quest line on YouTube today. And then we'll work on the hero review later tonight. And we'll try to have that uploaded first thing tomorrow. But yeah, as soon as we upload this video, I think we're going to stream the new quest line. So hopefully y'all can tune in for that. And the last thing they went over was wildlife. And we're actually going to go ahead and load in and test this out. But in the home base status report, it said, let your heroes run wild with the introduction of rideable wildlife and save the world. Ride on a wolf or boar until it runs out of stamina or until damage takes its stamina away. Stamina will return over time while you're not riding. 
and can also be restored by feeding the pet. Ride your boar into the fight and knock the husk out of the way while dealing a small amount of damage at the same time. If your beloved creature gets reduced to zero health, it will go into the down but not out state during the fight. Fear not, you can rescue it and jump back into the saddle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tame this one. Oh, and there we go. So in order to ride it, all we had to do was just press square. I didn't even have to tame it. I just had to uh, walk up to it, press square on PlayStation, and we could ride it that way. So yeah, now we can officially ride wildlife in Save the World, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, in order to dismount, you just hold square. You see the option on the left. All right, so it looks like you can see the health and the stamina both go down when we get attacked. And you also run out of stamina by just running around the map. Oh, there he goes. So yeah, once he runs out of stamina, it's gonna kick you off automatically. But if you feed him, you should be able to bring him back. All right, so when he goes down, he doesn't disappear like they used to. They just stay down like this, but you can revive him. And it looks like once we revived him, uh, his stamina is not full, but his health is. So he does get full health after you revive him. But if you want his stamina to go back up, you're gonna have to either not ride him for a little bit, or you can try feeding them. Uh, you're not going to be able to knock Husk out of the way while riding a wolf. But you can knock them out of the way while riding a boar. And the home base status report said it also deals a small amount of damage. But when I looked at the Husk health, it looked like almost no health was taken away. So when they say a small amount of damage, it deals a really small amount of damage. It, it's hardly noticeable. But you can damage structures like trees and buildings by ramming into it and again you'll see the option to ram or charge on the left side of your screen and you can use your weapons while riding on the animals so you can use your melee weapons your ranged weapons which i thought was pretty cool so yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to the changes that were made to wildlife also this wasn't mentioned in the home base stats report but we now have zombie chickens and save the world and they deal a lot more damage than regular chickens. They're dealing like 13,000 damage. Regular chickens are still in the game, by the way. And yeah, this one's like not dealing any damage at all. So if you see a zombie chicken, you may want to try to avoid it because they deal a lot more damage than regular chickens. But yeah, those are pretty much all the changes that came with the wildlife. Those are the new weapons and the new hero that we got with today's update. I'm really looking forward to trying out this new quest line. Like I said, we're going to be streaming that on YouTube here in a little bit. And once we finish that, we'll start working on the review for the new hero. But yeah, that pretty much sums up everything we're going to go over for this one. Uh, let me know what you all think about today's update in the comments below. Big shout out to everybody who uses creator code A1. I hope you all found the video useful and thanks for watching.